welcome to Urban Wine Life on the Bougie Black Brother Network. Good afternoon and welcome to Urban Wine Life. I'm Michael, your Bougie Black Brother. And it's Friday, so it's wine time. And to those out there uh, working through the coronavirus, uh, my prayers go out to all of you who's actually trying to do your thing. And me, um, while I'm sheltering in place, I'm enjoying my wine. So hopefully you'll join me every Friday if you have the opportunity to help me with that. So this week, I jumped into, once again, another Pinot Noir. I found out that I got a lot of Pinot Noirs (laughs) that's in my cabinet. So I'm looking at those and I say, let me take down some of those so I can actually start drinking my other wine. So this one, if you look at, is a Pinot Noir. You see it? It's a Pinot Noir from the Russian River Valley. So the Russian River Valley um, is in Sonoma County. So, you know, in the Sonoma County, county it's got that cool weather. Um, it's, it's really specializing in a lot of the Pinot Noirs and the Chardonnays because of coolness and everything from that. So this Russian River um, Valley wine, I wanted to try it out. This one, and I mentioned it here because I'm going to kind of be talking about a couple of these subscription wines because I'm not getting out to be able to go to my local wineries uh, or my local wine stores to pick them up. So I'm going to order from multiple subscription ones, um, try the wine and then jump into another one. I'm still going to buy the wine. Probably not going to keep with the subscription, though, because I'm not a fool. <laughs> but uh, this one is from Naked Wines. So um, I got this from Naked Wines and we went from there. But this is a Pinot Noir. And I wanted this Pinot Noir because I was having some jambalaya and I wanted to have that kind of little heat right there but a little bit of fruitiness in there uh because my wife puts a little something and she never really tells me what she put it in but i remember the kind of taste that's in there so i wanted to try it so i wanted to pin on the wire so with that being said you know the pin on the wires you know a little berry a little different it's, it still has that woodsy taste and everything in there. it got that uh that like sitting in the barrel type of wine and I like that. I like that in the Pinot Noir. When I want something a little fruitier, I, I run toward a Zinfandel or a Pinot Noir. And I, I drink my Zinfandels a lot quicker, a lot quicker than my Pinot Noirs. And now I got too many of them. So now I'm going to be back to back sort of with the Pinot Noir and a probably Petit Sirot as well. I'm going to try to get some of those. So let's get a whiff of this and see what this smells like. So you do smell that bark, but there's a, there's that, uh, not cherry, it's, it's, it's back to the berries. I'm trying to think of like a blackberry, um, almost a blueberry, almost a blueberry. Kind of jumping out of that. It's, it's, it's a really good, good whiff of this. Let's take a taste. Really a little tannic on the tongue. So you can feel that. Got a little heat behind it. So the alcohol level is a little higher. But very tannic. It's not acidic, but really, really, really tannic. Um, it's like I, I can feel it like almost drying my tongue up, you know. And it's just it's just sitting there. But a nice, it, it's just, it's got a, a good blend, you know. So the balance is pretty good on this one as well. A good balance on that. So... It gives you a, a lot of a, a little boldness with it. Smooth, eh, I wouldn't say it's smooth because I got the little hat, the alcohol and the tannins on there that's pretty high. Dry, of course, um, and a little, a little more acidic than soft. So I say it's a little acidity, but not a lot. It's not a really heavy acidic. It's it's really like almost in between. So it's it's pretty bold. I'd say between medium and, and, and bold, it's not quite bold because I'm not, you know, it's not overpowering. You're like, woo, let me sit down. And usually I have those on my off time that I can just sit down. It's not one of those. It's a good pairing. 
and you know you can drink through this after dinner or, or slightly from that but a really good wine it's a really good wine um i didn't even say this and ondine chaton ondine o-n-d-i-n-e chaton c-h-a-t-t-a-n chaton or chaton whichever one somebody correct me because i know you will um but i'm okay um so not bad pin on the wine this is a not bad pin on the wine so really really good um urban wine life uh go to the new website the new website um urbanwinelife.com uh got it redone a little more simpler you can go in video or podcast uh, a little one-on-one that i'm trying to do but much more simpler go in check it out and just go from that urbanwinelife.com follow me on twitter urbanwinelife.com and bougie black bro if you want to see all the other little things that i do but i always grab wine in there on twitter as well as on instagram so bougie black bro on that but i'll see you next week and we'll try a little something different i'm trying to think something because it's starting to get a little warm so i got a little special one i'm trying to crack open and if i'm still sheltering in place i'm gonna pull it out regardless because i've been trying to hold it but no need on being special just drank it all up but thank you very much and we'll see you next time on urban wine